What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mine Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video we're going to cover dual mining with the new BZ Miner 12.0.1. This is a beta release. Uh, yesterday I came out with a video with the version 12.0.0. Uh, all we covered was Radiant, so in today's video we're going to cover dual mining Ergo and Radiant. So if you're new to using Hive OS, uh, just a warning, this is not exactly beginner level stuff, but if you follow along I think you can get through it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the farm. I've got one rig on BZ Miner, uh, currently dual mining Erg and Radiant. I just got this going, so haven't really dialed in the overclocks, but let's go ahead and take a look at how we did this here. So as you can see, we're coming in at about 140 mega hash on Ergo and about 340 mega hash on Radiant using about 180 watts. We are no longer using uh, the locked memory command and we're running a core of 1600, memory at 2200, and power limiting to 180. So let's take a look at the flight sheet here. Now this is going to be a bit odd so pay very close attention here. Uh, we've got Ergo as our primary coin. You've got your Ergo wallet and you've got your Ergo pool. And then we're on BZ Miner. We're going to go to Setup Miner Config. This is what really stumped me trying to set this up is not realizing that there is a first coin and second coin tab here. So on your first coin, you're going to pick Ergo, your wallet, your worker name, your pull URL, but make sure you include Force Algo Radiant for your second algorithm. I'll put this command down in the description below. And then also, make sure that you have CASPA selected as your second algorithm. You want to put in your wallet address for your Radiant wallet. You want to put in Radiant underscore in your worker name and then the stratum that you're mining to. Keep in mind guys, our plant does have the majority of the hash rate so I don't suggest using this. This is just for testing purposes. Uh, then of course you still have your arguments in here for force underscore algo 2 for Radiant. Make sure you are on version 11.1.0 and then the tricky part here is going into your hive shell and then forcing hive os to download the newest version of bz miner so once this is done we'll go into the hive shell this may take just a moment any second now This reminds me of uh, Megamind. <laughs> Just one more tippy top. Here we go. So what you're going to do is right click here, paste from browser, and then you're going to paste this command here. So right click, paste from browser, right click, paste, hit OK make sure your cursor is blinking and then hit enter that will install the newer version and what you should see when it's done up here when you highlight which version you're on it should say v12.0.1 instead of 11.1.0 uh, as long as you got that going and your flight sheet is correct make sure you name it you should be seeing some numbers pretty close to this well I guess if you're running 3070 TI's just depends on what cards you're running so there you go guys I know several people were asking for this I'll try and cover the other dual options in the next videos but for now uh, hopefully that'll get you going and by the way when it comes to profitability on this uh, I just went ahead and manually typed in these numbers here for ergo so we're getting about 825 mega hash on ergo and in software we're using 1079 watts and that tells us that we're getting about 91 92 cents in revenue but using about a dollar 67 in power however if you look at what you're getting here and you multiply that by the current price uh, you're gonna get 
I don't know. This this is going to kind of fluctuate. Let me refresh this page and see what it's at. Uh, we're at 1275. It was up to 1800 earlier. I just did some napkin math real quick and came up with about a 20 cent profit. Probably closer to break even right at this very moment, considering that we're using uh, power and software and not power at the wall. But probably a better option than everything else that's out there at the moment. So uh, if you've got, oh, by the way, this was calculated at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So if you've got solar or you're paying less than 10 cents per kilowatt hour, uh, looks like you are profitable. And if you're just trying to accumulate at a loss, uh, not too much of a loss here. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, hit that like, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I will try and cover the other dual options in the next video. Stay tuned.